Trafficking. Let's get on the same page. Picture the idea of human trafficking. Go on, engage your brain. What do you see? Mexican cartel members pushing families across the Rio Grande. Or maybe it's uh, faceless Chinese mobsters closing the locks on a shipping container full of young girls bound for Los Angeles. Sorry to burst that Hollywood-derived bubble. It's not just the movement of people over borders. It's broader and darker than that. Human trafficking is the use of another human for some ulterior means, not just smuggling or moving them. These are the three main elements of human trafficking according to the United Nations. The first, the act, recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of persons. The means, threat or use of force, coercion, abduction, fraud, deception, abuse of power or vulnerability, or giving payments or benefits to a person in control of the victim. And the purpose, exploitation, which includes exploiting the prostitution of others, sexual exploitation, forced labor, slavery, or similar practices, and the removal of organs. An important note here is the trafficking victim does not have to be physically unable to leave or held against their will. They might not even know what they are doing is wrong and hurting them. Children are the most susceptible because they can be easily manipulated by coercion, deception, abuse of power, or vulnerability. So, let's redraw that picture of human trafficking. Do you now see a pastor having a consultation with a troubled teen? A hotel next to a major interstate where passers-by get access to a room key card for the right price. Father keeping his kids from eating because he has needs first. When it comes to minors, in the U.S. at least, any sexual abuse is automatically deemed human trafficking. There is no need to prove any other element of trafficking. It fast-tracks heavy charges and adds to senten sentencing, hopefully. This is where Caleb House is commanded to start helping. These children need recovery. They need peace. They need security. But there's change in the air. The Department of Homeland Security is modifying their language about human trafficking to emphasize labor trafficking over sex crimes and trafficking. Federal grants are changing language. Labor trafficking is getting bonus weight for the 2023 awards selection. This flies in the face of the data. The National Human Trafficking Hotline published that in 2021, sex trafficking reports came in at a rate of seven times higher than labor trafficking. Societal powers are shifting the national conversation on human trafficking away from sex and pedophilia. Caleb House cannot and will not rely on grants for federal funding. We don't even qualify. We just want to restore childhood to children that have been hurt. So let's get on the same page about trafficking. One of the reasons we don't even apply for federal grants is because the federal grants require the recipient to adhere to LMNOP gender identity bullshit. Won't do that. A boy who has been sexually abused that feels like he is a girl per those federal grants is required to be housed in the girl's housing. I'm not doing that. I'm not putting a boy in with girls when they both have a history of sexual abuse, whether they're related or not. I'm not doing that. Some of the children that we are blessed to be able to steward at this point didn't even know what they were doing 
was sex until they were told what sex was. Let me repeat that. They didn't know what they had been coerced to do was sex until they were told what sex was. And then the amount of disgust and shame that they felt, there's not words for it. We break generational curses and we provide a biblical covering to widows and orphans. You can't do that without your help. I would love it if you would get in a fight with us. Visit grindstoneministries.com. Share this video with people that need to see it. Understand that trafficking is not simply moving people. It's the exploitation of people. And any time there is a child involved in a sexual act, it de facto is trafficking. I talked previously in a different video. 93% of these children know the person who abused them. Statistically. Each offender is statistically responsible for 82 victims. Not 82 instances, 82 victims. That's why we are so adamant about making sure that bad things happen to bad people. Because every one of those bad people that's taken off the streets, that's 82 fewer victims that we have to put back together again. And that's also why, why we are adamant about healing these children and breaking that generational curse so that they don't become victimizers themselves. The recidivism rate is massive and the normalization of pedophilia in this country by the powers that be is disgusting and must be combated. No wonder we don't qualify for federal loans federal grants. This problem goes all the way to the top, boys and girls. All the way to the top. Somebody has to stand in the gap. And we are blessed to be one of a handful of organizations that is actually doing something about this problem. If you want to get in the fight, visit grindstoneministries.com. Share this with somebody that you think needs to see it. I appreciate y'all. Have a blessed day. Shalom.